Hello and welcome back to Catch and Cook California. Today, we're headed out to the coast. We're foraging for purple and for red sea urchin. And then, we're gonna make one of a kind uni rice. So join us. Sign that. a little pocket of sea urchins so I'll try and drop in there and see if I can grab one of those. Man this urchin is really on here pretty tight. There we go. Nice one huh? That's not as big but we'll keep that one too. Sure is pretty back in here though huh? I mean I used to love that when I was a kid. There's always like little caves and stuff, and you'd just be walking around like feeling like you were in a pirate movie or something. It's super fun to explore, and so much good food to be found as well. Look at this, there's a sea urchin everywhere. I don't know if you can see how many of these beautiful red and purple urchins there are right here. Take a look at this. Like, oh, that was so hard to do, wasn't it? <laughs> Not really. All right, so you can see the movie right in here getting rid of a little bit of the gut there. Grab a big chunk of that. It's in perfect shape. See that color? Still, these purple urchins don't really have a whole lot of uni in them compared to the uh, larger red urchin but what they do have is still quite good you got a more brownish color and then the more yellow and this one's actually a lot more or a lot firmer than this one um, this is like top choice this is still perfect it's delicious it's, it's gonna be great but this is like top of the top cream of the crop excellent uni so this is really the hardest part you want to run it under some cold running water and get rid of this stuff here and the reason it's the hardest part is most likely to rupture. Basically if you crush this right now it's just going to turn into like liquid which is what happens in your mouth which is why it's so rich. But we want to be really careful we don't do that until we actually start chewing. Clean it on up make sure there's no fragments of shell attached to it. Yeah my hands are completely stained with uh, <laughs> urchin color. So if you don't want to do that it's actually not a bad idea to wear gloves while you're processing urchins anyway because they are very very sharp my brother's got like six or eight urchin spines still lodged in his ankle from kicking a rock while he was spearfishing and i think that was like a year ago um, they are very sharp we have before processing and after processing so yeah there you have it that's probably a hundred dollars worth of uni <laughs> So that's cool.
so uni rice. Um, take a look at this. Look at what Diane made here. Yeah, got green onion, wasabi, got our uni. There's uni mixed into the rice with uh, uh, lavar or um, nori that we foraged, dried, rehydrated, and then chopped up and threw in there. And then, um, yeah, very, very simple. Some soy sauce. Let's do a taste test. All right, baby. She likes uni a lot. This, I want it. Mm. So we're mixing some of the uh, wasabi into the soy sauce. So Diane's sister, Ginger, if you're watching, come north. Come, come get some uni with us. I'm gonna try the rice first. Mm. Mm. Wasabi. You did have a lot on your fork, didn't you? Mm. Oh, it's good. Is it? Mm. 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 Oh yeah, the sesame oil in there. That was a good addition. Mm. Just a little. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. It melt in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come here, Uni. Mm. 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 So creamy. So good. I like that nori too. Mm -hmm. Tastes good with the wasabi. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. This was a really good idea. Mm. Uni rice. Super simple. It's like not even a recipe, right? You just pull out some rice, mix some stuff in it, put some uni on top. It's like not even a thing, but it's so good. And that's what's that's what's left of it. <laughs> so what do we think? Will we do that again? I wish you had more. Okay, next time. Come with me. Okay, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And uh, keep the old ways alive. <laughs> I get the first bite a lot of times. <laughs> it's because you take forever. I do. I'm always like, blah, 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 blah. I'm usually hangry by the time. <laughs> let's talk about the ins and outs of foraging before we take a bite of this delicious meal we made. Shut up, let's eat! <laughs>